Parker's Johnson, and welcome to my presentation on the Hamlin Hospital Study. To start out, what is encephalon? Well, encephalon is one of the two main primary organ tissue types produced in our body, the other being endorphins. Now, for those of you who don't know what a pump themselves are just naturally occurring biological molecules in the body. They are short chains of amino acids held together by sugar in a bar. And as one of pump down means five, so pump peptide just means it's five amino acids per chain. A little fun fact about encephalin is that there's actually two kinds. Both are pretty similar. The only difference between the two is that there's one of the four of the amino acids that are directly the same in each one, and only one of them's different. Uh, there really isn't a reason why that we know yet. We haven't figured that out. But the two different kinds of encephalin, there's methionine and isoleucine. Concentrated at the posterior side of gray matter in the spinal cord. Also in the central part of the thalamus in the brain. And the amygdala of the limbic system in the cerebrum. Okay. What do encephalin do? Well, encephalin inhibits neurotransmitters in the pathways of change reception. It reduces the emotional and physical impact of pain and blocks pain signals that come up the spinal cord. So what that means is that, you know, if you're riding a bike and you fall off and you break your knee, right? It doesn't need to be that long. It could be a lot bigger than your knee hurt. Um, what encephalin does is it comes and it blocks pain signals so it doesn't hurt as much. Much like endorphins, but still not the same. The difference being that, like I said, encephalin there is thought to block pain signals in the spinal cord, where endorphins are thought to block pain signals at the brain itself. So that's the main difference. But they're both still essentially the same neurotransmitter and opioid reception signal to help block the pain. Well, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my lecture on encephalin, the body's natural painkiller. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully something useful. Thank you guys once again.